Just assess Lance's second start. What do you think of him against the Texans? Very promising. Uh, first yeah. quarter, I'm sitting here going, this is not that great. But then halfway through the first quarter, I'm like the second possession, he just started making good decisions. Yeah. Uh, very <clears throat> cerebral, going through his reads. Um, one of the things I didn't like about Kaepernick was his reads. Were his reads, I should say. Trey Lance, he may not make the right throw. He may overthrow it. He may he may throw it when he shouldn't. But it's not a result of, of reads. He sees the, the field really well. So as far as I'm concerned, um, this game was a win. I'm going to give like my feeling of the game like an, like an A-. minus. And the reason I say That's that... Right. The That's reason I, I say yeah. that is just because, okay, so fine. He didn't hang 35 points on them. Yeah. That's not what it was about. It was he put 20 in the second half. Rust, yeah. Showing some good decision-making making a couple of plays he should, trying out a few things, and this offense will come together. And I think rather quickly, I think that the drop-off will be zero or minimal from the Jimmy Garoppolo version of the 49ers, and we may actually be better going into the playoffs on account of the fact that Lance brings a lot to the run game. We are a run-first team. And the surprise factor of Lance. I thought he improved as the game went on, too. It was interesting. I remember, yes, if you remember that play. I think it might have been the first pass. You remember the play? Okay, so um, they're backed up on their own goal line. He looks to his left. He pulls it down. He scrambles out to his right and hits Ayuk for a first down. Nice throw, right? That first down, nice play. play. And that was his. That was like his second or third read. Yeah, it was. It was early, but if you go back, I was watching the, the coach's film, and when I watched it live, I was thinking, man, that's a really nice play. But in the coach's film, no, he had it open early. He had Debo open on the slant, didn't he throw did. it, and then extended the play to your point. And so I'm sure that Kyle doesn't like that, you know, fine. But I need you to hit the throw when it's there on time. And so at the end of the first half, he calls that play again, this time to the right for Debo and Lance hits it. He's coachable. I like this about Lance. And when he has these moments of like frenetic play where he's off, you know, his timing's off. He's played three games in the last two years. You saw him improve as the game went on. I think these are issues that are going to go away with experience. Yeah, absolutely. And, and and the start against the Cardinals, even like there were positives in that as well. I mean, that's a great team. They were down a, a couple of key players, but still, it, it's still a good team. So, you know, it's, they've got great leadership over there. So really think that the, the 49ers stand a chance of maybe being a little bit better from this point forward. I agree. Two more things I want to point out about him. As the game went on, he started throwing with anticipation, which I didn't see in uh, North Dakota State. The throw to Jennings on third down where he had the out to the left in the fourth quarter. He threw that before Jennings turned his head, made his break. The throw to Kittle up the seam, threw that before Kittle turned his head. That's that's impressive for a guy who didn't do that in college and has just been hanging out I in the scout team. I don't like that about Jimmy Garoppolo. There are times I feel where he needs a guy to be wide open right. and standing still to hit him. I think Jimmy right. got better at that in the last six games, but still. Um, Final thing. I thought he avoided pressure really well. I like the way Lance moves in the pocket. First of all, he's really quick for a big dude. And then when you get an arm on him, he's super strong and he just knocks it away. And he's really hard to sack. I mean, I re to me, everyone compares him to Kaepernick, who was 25 when he finally became the he's starter. He's like a mobile Roethlisberger to me. Yes, he's way more elusive than Kaepernick was in the pocket. Kaepernick was fast when he got his legs going, but in the pocket, he was... Easy no, to take down. folded very easily. Folded. This guy is really hard to take. I like that a lot about him. He's very elusive and strong. He reminds me of a young Roethlisberger, but way faster, way faster. Yeah, anyway. Exactly. So he's a gene splice of like, he's a water that, well, who knows? We don't know how good a runner he will be, but right now, Jackson is still the best. Um, but Trey Lance, I feel, has a Jackson-like aspect to his game combined with the ruthless body and 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 toughness and physical size of Ben Roethlisberger. They, he's he's a he's he's a modern NFL team's version of Big Ben. He is a lot like Josh Allen. He's a little bit faster, doesn't quite have the arm of Allen, but quite similar. I mean, Allen isn't beating you around the edge, but he's a big time rushing threat and he's huge. He just runs over people between the tackles. I and also I think Allen early on despite his his inconsistencies it was so clear that he was one of the best athletes in the league and he had that confidence and i think lance is going to figure that out pretty quickly like look and I, I i'm still figuring it out but look at me i mean i can I do anything i want smarter. yes i think lance is a smarter guy no shot at, at alan or anything like that but i don't think pressure is going to to get to him the way i've seen it get to alan well, we'll see because there's going to be a lot of pressure in this game. This is a playoff game. Voice ad agency Absolutely. says, is there significant money in making playoffs for the franchise? Other than that, it does not make any sense for Jimmy Garoppolo to play and sacrifice the Lance experience. 
Uh, home playoff games is an, uh, another opportunity to make millions of dollars, but I don't think the Niners are going to get any of those. Exactly. And I, I Did I lose you? Um, but at the same time, I feel like um, if, if we were making the experience argument, this change should have ha happened a long time ago. But here yeah. we are, nonetheless. I don't think Jimmy plays again uh, because I think that's a significant issue. And oh, don't give away the don't give away that topic. <laughs> okay, hold on, it's coming out. Hold on. Jeffrey right. says similar with Matthew Stafford throwing so many picks. Will our defense be able to take advantage of his inaccuracies? They have to. It's gonna be Jimmy Ward and Fred Warner that have to do that. Lance has the chance to be Watson. He's bigger than Watson. I don't know who you compare Lance to. I saw Jer Daniel Jeremiah at NFL Network last year compare him to Andrew Luck. Which is rich, no. but I mean, uh, no. he's faster than Andrew Luck. I mean, faster. I just don't know who you compare him to. hes I've never seen anyone like him. It doesn't mean he's going to be great, but he's just very unique. He makes that comparison to Andrew Luck because Andrew Luck has that kind of cowboy western gunslinger approach to football, and he's calm, and he's intelligent. In that he played respect, under center yes. in college. He yeah, played but the pro style the offense. Body types, the, the level of athleticism of Trey Lance, that's where the comparison is. like a ends. super Carson Wentz. They went to the same school, about the that's same a size. Better, that's a Super Carson Wentz. Thanks for the early morning content. Go Niners. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>